Hi everybody, my name is Sharla Conley from Beauty on the Brush Artistic Designs and today we are going to add some pizzazz to an otherwise pretty boring and drab um, knife block. Uh, most of us have one of these in our kitchen and they're really not pleasant to look at. So uh, I've gathered some things today to give this one a little bit more pizzazz and make it a little bit more appealing to the eye. Some things that I'm going to use um, are some bonding primer. The bonding primer helps the paint adhere to the slick surface. It's already been cleaned up and wiped all down. Um, after that, then I'm going to paint it a purely white color, and then I get to add the fun stuff. Fun stuff that I picked out um, is a section of a pretty peony. We've got some checks, and then I also have some other checks on here with some flowers and some script and the cute little bumblebee with a crown. I really like that, so I'm hoping I can incorporate that into it. Um, this is mulberry paper. This is decoupage tissue paper, and these are just regular old napkins. I'm gonna adhere the um, napkins with some Mod Podge. Just get it at your regular Walmart store. Um, as far as the uh, tissue paper goes and the mulberry paper, I use a clear coat. Um, in this instance, I'm using Top Coat Satin. It's by Paint Couture, which I also sell as well. And then we'll finish off the whole thing, maybe with a little bit of gold embellishment on it and a top coat of satin over the entire thing. So let's get started. All right, hopefully you can see okay. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So I don't get anything on that. I just use a regular old um, four inch paintbrush. I really like these, they're by Wooster. Um, they fit in my hand good, but there's not a, not a specific kind of paintbrush that you need. And you want to coat it evenly and get, you know, a nice amount on there, but you don't want it to be gloppy. So don't mind my little roller. That's just so I can paint the knife block a little bit easier without getting it all over the table. And like I said, this is just an adhesive. Um, it's not like glue. It, it's more like paint, but it helps when you're painting slick surfaces for the paint that you're going to paint it to stick to it so it doesn't just um, chip off. And make your way all the way around. I've been wanting to paint a knife block for some time, just didn't get around to it. I saw one online the other day and it reminded me that that was something I wanted to do. So here we are. If you don't have a knife block, you can easily find these um, at Goodwill. It doesn't have to be a knife block, it could be anything that you have in your kitchen that you just want to add a little pizzazz to. I've even seen some people do it with their KitchenAid mixers. Um, they didn't paint them. To my knowledge but they uh the ones i saw they put some transfers on rub on transfers we're not doing those today we're doing more of a decoupage style but it ended up being cute so pretty much you can just decorate anything that you want you don't have to get stuck looking at the boring factory finish of items anymore it's a good thing about it and it's fun not painting the bottom, but I am painting the bottom angle there. Try not to get paint in the open areas. That's where your knives and knife sharpener and scissors and stuff will go. It doesn't really take a lot to cover. It dries fairly quickly. That way you can get onto the paint, paint part of it all. I 
just want to do just a little bit because I'm going to be careful not to get down in those holes. Just a thin coat. sure I don't have any runs or heavy paint anywhere. That would show through um, the final paint that you have on there. We're doing decoupage, so don't get too worried about that because it kind of hides some minor imperfections as opposed to if we were just painting it a solid color and not putting any kind of design on it. for that. I'm going to put my paintbrush in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't dry out. Since I'm painting it white, which is the color that you would use underneath decoupage, um, I'm just going to use the same paintbrush. You're probably not supposed to, but I've never had an issue with anything being wrong with it, so... I'm just going to set that there so it doesn't dry out. And I've got the fan going over here to try to speed things up a little bit. I do other classes as well. Um, I also have a shop in Peru, Indiana at 300 East Main Street. I'm open by appointment only. got uh, a family and a daughter who's a cheerleader so my schedule can be a little hectic so instead of sticking to a daily nine to five or whatever specific store hours I'm here by appointment only and that seems to work out I also do commissions so if you have something that you have that you want painted I do that as well or I've also looked out for things that people were looking for and found them and bought them and then painted them how they wanted them. I also have an Etsy shop in case you live someplace that you couldn't pick up uh, locally. That's under Brushed with Beauty. My shop is Beauty and the Brushed Artistic Designs. spinning it so it gets evenly blown on by the fan. It's drying pretty quickly actually. You can decoupage um, pretty much anything with all kinds of different materials. You can use fabrics, tissue paper, napkins, uh, mulberry tissue, rice paper, pretty much anything. And you decoupage is basically just a water-based glue um, which is also the sealer and finish. Um, and then we are going to top it off with our top coat and satin. Uh, but you put that down first, then you lay down the piece you selected over top and brush another layer on. So for those of you that feel somewhat intimidated, it's, it's, really, not, it's really not that hard. I think the hardest part is deciding which uh, decorations or decorative finish or whatnot that you uh, want to put on there. on to the paint. And when you decoupage you always want to have a white undercoat. This one is um, purely white by Paint Couture. That's the one I'm going to use underneath my decoupage items. Paint Couture is a water-based acrylic paint. It goes on really well. And the coverage is really good. Same thing as the bonding primer. Just paint over. 
sure you get down on the edges. Don't worry too much about brush strokes. You don't want drips, but the strokes really don't matter. You're not gonna see them because it's gonna have a decorative finish over top. Just don't go too heavy with it and make sure you get all over to cover up the ugly brown wooden knife block. paint dries fairly quick as well so for purposes of the video that's good also if you don't have a lot of time to sit around and do um, little projects or crafts it's handy just to know that it doesn't really take that long it's not an all-day event too much in the slots for your utensils. I'm just going to turn it around, see if there's any areas where the paint was a little too heavy, kind of drippy, or maybe I missed a spot. Okay, looks good. Now, same thing as with the um, primer, bonding primer, gotta wait for this to dry. Okay, make sure my paint lid is on. I'm not very good about putting paint lids on and it always ends up being a catastrophe. Let me grab the hammer. family now knows that if you're here around me and you see paint at all, make sure it's closed because just because the lid's on there doesn't mean it's actually pounded on or screwed on tight. did get little, little bits, little bits in the slot area there. So I'm just going to get a tissue to kind of wipe that out. Just be sure we don't get paint down in where the knives are going to go. Just 
speed that up a little bit. Got a knife block painting class tonight that I'm doing at my shop. I've got some ladies coming for that. I'm pretty excited to do it. I had one lady that was on the hunt for a knife block. She was nervous that she wasn't going to be able to find one. But she did. So keep spinning around, try to get the fan to dry it up. Next thing we're going to do is apply Mod Podge over the painted surface and then layer our decorative um, papers and napkins on top. I use a different brush for the glue. I don't want to ruin my paint brush. Even when you rinse it out, um, you wash it out with brush cleaner, it just doesn't seem to do well, so I just buy these little cheapy brushes from Dollar Tree to use in the Mod Podge. look at the knife block this way which I'm hoping I can get the little bumblebee down here but most of the design is going to be on the sides the back the top part there so <laughs> don't drop your knife block all right come on wheel I'm going to lay it kind of at an angle, and then I'll take off. Not the whole thing's going to be on there, which I'm going to put checks over top of it, so. No, well, actually not over top of it, underneath of it. So really, I'm going to start with my checks first. I don't know why I said I'm starting with that, because I want it to look like it's coming out from underneath. So I'll get my napkin. Mod Podge can be super non-specific. Just tear up your, your paper that you want to use. And just have to be sure that where you're laying it is going to cover the area that you're wanting in this specific instance because they're checks. on the side. Mod Podge is, you can use Elmer's glue. It's basically the same thing. It's going to hold this on there. Be perfect. Just kind of smooth that on. Just 
carefully, don't rub too hard because you'll tear it. And then you go immediately over it with more Mod Podge. You'll get a little bit of wrinkles and bubbles, but that's okay, you'll it'll smooth out. straightening out a, a bed sheet to figure out which way to pull it to get the, the wrinkles out. Pull it by the brush strokes I'm saying. Now if there's any areas that I don't get covered with my checks because matching up the pattern would be somewhat difficult, I will just paint um, the area is not covered with another color. In this case, might be, might be black. I don't know. I'll know that actually towards the end. So that's that for that, and that's going to dry. It won't be blue looking like that when it's finished. And the next piece is going to be now the other side. I'm going to read. Cover this over top and see where it's going to lay so I know where to put my text on the other side of it. So it's going to be quite a bit, quite a bit of that, that side. Pretty much almost the whole thing. So. piece should work. I'm just gonna tear off the tear off the edges. Be a little bit more careful with this one. Again, if it doesn't cover the whole surface, you paint it with a solid color. get a decent amount on here so it sticks but you don't you don't want it gloppy working against me now. I'm not sure if we can go this way. I want to get the most area covered. I'm just going to tear off a little bit of the extra so it doesn't overhang by too much. Brush down there, get the wrinkles out. If it's super wrinkly when you're done, um, if you want to give it more of a distressed look and take away the wrinkle effect that occurs, you can always use a fine grit sandpaper, like 220, and just lightly go over top 
it'll give it some more of a distressed look and take off the little imperfections if the wrinkles end up bothering you. They're usually not that bad though. Okay, that's that for that. Now on to the larger part. brush should glide and not drag. I guess that's one way you can tell whether or not you have enough on there. to make sure it lays on the checks over here as well as goes over the side. And just kind of find your spot. Start pushing it down. it out as you go. Just keep making your way around. Get off the extra down here. Kind of gives it a peekaboo of the checks coming out from underneath this way. This part up here I'm probably actually going to use scissors for it because it's going to start interfering with the top of the the top of the knife block. Still doesn't have to be super super precise, but I think it would look nicer than having jagged edges. Okay. Let me just make sure that there's Mod Podge under there. I'm pretty sure I got it, but just to be sure. And then time to go over top. And then go right over just like we did before. This time I'm hopefully not going to drop the knife block. I'm gonna say I didn't drop it. I'm gonna say that it fell off the rollers. Mod Podge on the decoupage gives it a nice, a nice top coat as well. You don't have to worry about it getting little um, rips and whatnot because it. It dries to a pretty hard, durable surface. Which is nice. So we all know that we get stuff moving around in the kitchen that sometimes can collide into other things. And Try not to brush over the checks that you did or whichever pattern or design that you have. 
you don't want to tear the fabric the um, napkin or tissue paper because it's going to have already be starting to set up to dry okay now to go on to this bumblebee I'm really hoping I can get the bumblebee to fit on the top different than the napkin and the tissue paper. This is mulberry paper, a mulberry tissue. Actually has fibers weaved into it, you can kind of see. And it's really durable. Okay, so I want the bumblebee. It's better from the top to the bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut, cut into the paper. Hopefully, I bought it correctly. Yes, there we go. I'll be able to get the bumblebee on. Perfect. Actually, I'm trying to decide do I want the crown on there and the bumblebee? I think I do. And the way this falls, that'll be black. So that's where I'm going to go. Okay. So here we go again. Prep it with the Mod Podge. It's not going up on this part, so I don't need to have the Mod Podge up there. Just down here and a little bit on the sides. Just a little bit. And same thing as with the others, smooth it out. I actually prefer this paper over tissue paper because it is durable. Um, those fibers being in there, it's nicer to work with. dry. You can kind of clean up the top a little bit where the Mod Podge is on there. This is what we've got so far and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the other areas 
black. The ones that didn't get covered. But that's it for now. Uh, now I'm to the point where I have to wait for everything to dry before I can continue. The only thing that's left, like I said, is to paint the areas um, that don't have the decorative part on it. I'm going to paint mine black. Um, and then we're going to go over everything with a satin top coat once it's all dry. Um, over the black, over the decoupage area, and make sure it's got a nice um, durable surface. That's the satin top coat here. That's what I'm going to be using. And I will post a picture of the finished product when I'm done. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed watching me drop the knife block as well as decorate it. I'll see you later.